Hey, what's up, guys? It's SPO Channel here today. We're back with a brand new episode of Gaming with SPO, and I have something very special for you guys today. And the in the way of we are playing, um, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, um, for Sega Saturn, and we're gonna get started. I this is the Japanese version. I don't know if there is a English um translation. But we're just gonna deal with it, it's fine. We can do we can do it. A lot of it is in English, like with the menus and stuff, I'm guessing, from the look of this. Oh crap. Backspace. Um S P Is that an O? No, the O's over here. S P O. Alright, and I think we're gonna play as I'm gonna play as Richter, because I, I really like Richter. Um, and I like that you can choose characters in this version of the game. Let me just make sure that we're recording. Yep, we're good. Oh, wait, what the frick? You don't even have to... Oh, crap, you can play the... Whoa, you can just skip the beginning of it. When you play as Richter. That's so cool. Oh my god, this is amazing! And the graphics look pretty amazing. I like this. I like how the graphics look with Sega Saturn. They look nice and crisp and juicy. And you don't even have to do the beginning, the intro or whatever, when you play it, like that you do when you have to play as Alucard. You just get to jump right in with Richter. And I'm actually gonna go a little bit longer on this episode. I'm gonna go about 15 to 20 minutes on this episode because Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Is my all-time favorite Castlevania game, and this is actually the first time I'm actually going deep into the Sega Saturn version. And it honestly, I think this. I personally think this looks phenomenal. I personally think like this, these graphics still hold up today. Fuck no, I don't want to do that. No, fuck, just kill all these fuckers. Like this is like this is like Castlevania Requiem Requiem quality right here. And I'm using, I don't know how to pronounce it, it's like Yaba Sanshiro emulator. You can get it from the Yaboos emulator website, I think. That's where I got it. Um, and I'm pretty sure this is an older version. They might have updated a lot of the other versions by now. This is actually the first time I've actually played Symphony of the Night on the channel. Of Oh geez, it's yellow now. Um, eventually I will for sure play Symphony, like do an actual Let's Play Symphony of the Night. But holy crap, I'm literally about to die. I need meat. I will eventually do... Fuck, no, no, come on. I will eventually do a Let's Play. Fuck, no, no, come on. I will eventually do a Let's Play of Symphony of the Night. Just not right now. I'd like some meat, maybe? No meat? I could have just skipped through that whole thing, I guess. And I don't know why I keep powering up. I, oh, I keep pressing the, I keep pressing X on my keyboard, that's why. But what I really need is some meat. Oh, and they changed the HUD to look like um, Rondo of Blood for this. That's cool. And I will eventually do, hopefully sooner rather than later, I will eventually do a Rondo of Blood gaming with SPO video. Um, I really like Rondo of Blood. Actually, I would have to say Rondo of Blood is my second favorite Castlevania game of all time. My top three Castlevania games are in order from, like, my all-time favorite to just, like, in my top three, I guess you could say. Be my number one Castlevania game that I love the most. Oh, and the guy doesn't show up. I guess the game kind of changes you play as Richter. But my number one Castlevania game, which I love more than any other Castlevania game, is Symphony of the Night. And then my second favorite is Rondo of Blood. Um, specifically the Turbo Graphics or Net PC Engine version. I don't care for the Super Nintendo version, honestly. Um, it changed too much to the game. The game is co almost a completely different game, almost. I actually would say that is, other than the fact that you play as Richter and the animation for... The whip is pretty much the same. It's not the same game at all. It's not even a port, I would say. I don't think it's 
be able to redo it. But my top three favorite games are Rondo of um, Castlevania, Symphony of the Night being my number one, Rondo of Blood being my number two, and then my number three is definitely the first one. I love the first Castlevania. I've only beaten it once in my life, and that was with save states. No cheats, but just, I've beaten it. Well, actually, no, I've beaten it twice. Once with cheats, and that was on the channel last year. And then there, and then it was also on my own, um, just using save states and without cheat codes. And by save states, I mean using the 3DS Virtual Console, um, creating and loading of restore points, you know. Oh, and also I have now I've decided I've downloaded it. Um, well, I downloaded a couple. Like this one, I don't own this physical game, but I downloaded a couple Sega Saturn ROMs from a guy named, like, he has, like, a bunch of, like, one Fleischer website, like, it, his name is Alvro, A-L-V-R-O, he has, like, hundreds of thousands of ROMs on his website, fuck, I died, Jesus Christ, where are the save rooms, are there even save rooms in this, in, when you play as Richter, I don't know, jeez, I died, but, um, I might have to start all completely over, that would suck. Okay. Let's try again. Let's see if it works. Oh crap, no. I don't want that. I want a load game. Data select. Fuck, no. Crap. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. And actually, I don't think I'm going to go long in this episode. I think I'm just going to go to 10, maybe 12 minutes at the most. Whoa, it completely deleted my save data, too. Shit. Let's play as Maria. You guys seen Alucard enough. Let's play as Maria. She's cool. I didn't you can't play as her, I don't think, in this in the PS1 version. But also what I was trying to get with my top three favorite Castlevania games is that's why I love um That's why I love Castlevania Requiem so much. I've been playing that a lot. I didn't get it when it first came out, but I I've been playing Castlevania Requiem a lot, and it's really fun because I get to replay all my favorite Castlevania games and it makes me happy. Oh, I like this. She, oh, she doesn't have a gun. I thought she was a gun, but she has a ranged weapon. In the Rondo of Blood, she had she had doves that you can throw because she was younger. She was a lot younger, and she could throw birds at people because she's a cute little girl. And why not give her birds? But I guess now she learned witchcraft or something. And I also now I I realize that she's not as powerful. As Richter and probably Alucard as well, because it takes more than one hit to take out these bears or wolves or whatever. And usually, I think it only takes one hit um, normally. Fuck, die! And her attacks, I think, are I think they're just as slow and or fast as Richter's. Am I invincible? No, I'm not invincible. I was like, oh my god, this is easy mode by far. Yeah, I think that one took. I think that wolf took three hits. Oh, she can kick, too. She can kick. Does that do more- Does that do more damage? Yeah, that does more damage. Oh, fuck. No, don't- Don't die. Don't die. And then, actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna play until I die. This episode might actually be a bit longer. Because I'm gonna play till I die, and then I'm gonna do Alucard. I'm gonna play as all three characters. In this episode- In this video. And I don't really care if I die right now. Fuck! They keep spawning. Oh wait, do I have to- oh, the- the blue gauge refills manually, but, um, it goes- oh, gee, it's yellow again. It's- it- it, um, it goes down when I shoot, I guess. Oh, yeah. Fuck, I think this is lagging a little bit, I think. Oh, no. Oh, crap, I just realized I might not be recording at 720p. I hope I am. God, I hope I am. Eh. I'm gonna die. Let's go, Maria. Eh. Oh, and she also has to stand still when she shoots. That's interesting. 
Oh fuck no no crap I oh god I wasn't paying attention fuck damn it I wanted to go a little bit longer with her but I couldn't I just couldn't man I just fucking couldn't so now we're gonna do Alucard which I'm pretty sure with Alucard you have to um I'm pretty sure with Alucard you have to oh what's it called go through the intro. So let's go through with Alucard. Oh jeez, what happened? Oh god. Oh crap, no, I don't want to watch the cutscene. Crap. We seriously have to watch a cutscene. Crap. You know what, guys? I don't think we're going to play as Alucard, but I will see you guys uh, next time when we do another Sega Saturn game. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace.